Welcome back to the Women's Division action here at the European Ultimate Indoor Championships 2022 in Kaunas, Lithuania. Myself, Hannah Pendlebury, comparing you solo through this match. It's the second pool of two in the Women's Division. Of course, an eight-team strong division here. And Huta getting time started in this 42-minute game between the top and bottom seeds. In pool two, we've got Sweden sitting on top and hoping to surmount their first victory of the tournament over Poland, a young and scrappy team. Nice high reaching grab. Just working up that line, but snapping out of the air. The defense of the Sweden side is going to get the first turnover of the game. Running through with the block, Oda Holmlock. No surprises there. Such a fantastic dynamic defender now hitting that soft side of the pitch very nicely expect to see well drilled connections on this swedish team nice hands from homelong to match her dazzling rainbow socks and an easy put straight into the path of erica nilsson and that is the first goal and a first break for the swedes looking almost casual There's some nice moves to get us started for this Polish side. Lots of players coming through the junior programme. Marshalled by their wonderful coach. So a second chance our offense, but is that a hand block or just a miscued throw? Either way, nightmare scenario if you're a Polish fan. Oh, and just another easy goal for the Swedish side. That one a little bit easier, just a strange series of events there for Team Poland. And a 2 nothing lead. Nice sitting pull. Thinking about that hammer over the top. Goes for the lefty blade instead. Big pack of blue shirts underneath it. Well read. This Orebro Valkyria mix up. With some players from other clubs as well, but lovely, just easy over the top shots. Erika Nielsen collecting her second goal. Pretty easy stuff at the moment for the Swedish side. As we said, very experienced. You can just see how much they enjoy throwing those blades over the top. <laughs> But this young Polish side will definitely bring a lot of spice to this game. Wasn't the ideal start for them. Nice low inside break. Talking to their coach ahead of this game, the Polish side really need to remember about using those indoorsy throws. There's lots of space around. Of course, you can't give up quite so much, but at the moment, the Swedes are giving away nothing on those up lines. Really just smother cover. They do have the break side around if they need it, just trying to grind it up, and eventually they do. Just if you get Pinsonka with the grab. And that's the first on the board for Poland. They apply a tourniquet and stem the bleeding for a little bit. So let's see what this Polish, young athletic Polish team can do on defense. Very out of bounds, pull left the pitch quite quickly. So that one will be taken from the sideline. 
over just a couple of yards. Big blade over the top to get us underway. Hammer. Iquam. Of course, very big household name, both Iquam sisters. Going for the super dump, but hitting that up line. Nice, easy stuff to add another onto the tally after that short field was given to start with. Really calm body language from the Swedish team. Just, a, just another day at the office for them. Of course, this is a much long awaited tournament. Third time is the charm. Selections were made quite a while ago for both sides. So you see a bit of an overshot trying to hit Follock, the D machine of this Polish side. But of course, Poland need to put together some slightly slicker offense they're running two lines of the polish side rather than sort of having a, a defensive and offensive look it's working on their connections immediately taking that poached off swing home long trying to work on the soft side now attacking the under lovely flick blade over the top the force is backhand, but the brakes are flowing for Team Sweden. And that's another to add to their tally. This looks really, really just pleasant offense for the Swedish side right now. So 5-1 now the score. Beautiful leading pass. Just going to sink shy of the goal line. No immediate options. Channel it to the back of the end zone though. Almost looked like it was over that back line, but that's a good hold and much needed use of the expansive throwing style. Poland have thus far looked mostly for up lines and undershots under the pressure of the Swedish defence. So it's nice to see them sort of get a little bit of a release there so they can threaten that deep space as well as the underneath. Great run down from the defense, nearly the sneaky Callahan. Iggland in the deep space, gonna be hit for the goal. Oh no, I take that back. It's just behind our uh, little blockade we have on this near sideline. So a nice block for the Polish side on the big name of the Swedes. Perhaps a bit too much of a trust ball. Lovely low inside backhand break. For luck now. Intense defense. Perhaps a tiny bit of face marking forces the layout grab. Great defense, but much better offense. Inside backhand, though, miscommunication downfield. Weren't sure exactly who that was for. Bosinska to Jasinska. The spirit captain with a fantastic ribbon game. Iklund. Fakes the big, chooses the upline. Jinking back and forth in the end zone. It's just going to be a run through and beautiful footwork. Tippy towing. Alva Ungergaard collecting the next goal for Team Sweden.
good flow underneath the near space. Just going to have to try and squeeze something through, anything at all. A high stall release. After a bit of miscommunication in the backfield. Michalska on the attack, trying to get the disc back for her team. Ooh, bit of a body. Two players marking one. This week's more than happy to play through it. Dishing up line. Hannah Tegin reels that in. And the Swedes extend their lead 7 2. With just over 10 minutes expired. Points cap is 17. So they'll need 10 more on their tally to close this one up early. We saw the top and bottom seed game in the other group. This First thing this morning, with 10 points of headroom. Of course, going to Team Lithuania. Farnaita is going to put up the pole for the Swedes. Tizonka. Putting one out into the space. Players nearly smacking our foamy board. It's an ambitious shot over the top. Is your scat the intended target, but just sails over the top as we see a bit of uh, boot cleaning there. Immediate shot goes up, but it's a little bit too soft. Follick. Looking around for options, almost cutting each other off of the handlers. The players coming through just can't quite seem to find the right timing. And it is stifling the offense of the poles. Van Leijte sitting with the scuba grip all day long. And that's the next goal for Team Sweden. You can see that she didn't want to throw anything else. She had her eyes set on that scuba score. And releases it very nicely. So this young Polish team, coached by Eva van Dira. And I will get better at the pronunciations as this division goes on, I promise. But these over the top flick rakes for the Swedes. Scubas, they're just throwing Fantastic overheads. You can see how far apart poached that force was. Sacrificing a couple of stall beats. Just put that pressure on and try and pin this Polish side to the near sideline. That one gets away from Agata Zuk. And a Swedish disc as they look to take half. Cheeky scuba over the top, but fantastic attack from the defense gets the block. Can she make anything of it? Nice high grab for Zabek. Big pressure on the underneath. All along getting a bit hungry. Oh, and it's an inside backhand break after getting the block to redeem themselves. The Polish women's team pop another on the board. 8-3 and keep this half alive. So coming out, first half point, as it were, for Team Sweden. Olansom with a nice high flick release. So he's trying to play high pace, high octane, but this is much better defensive adjustment and it generates the turn. Can they just walk it into the end zone?
just got to be patient, make the most of your opportunities. Oh, and there it is. Team Poland with a second score, the break this time. Trying to just nibble away at the lead extended early doors by Team Sweden. That was fantastic heads up defensive play there. The turn, of course, generated by Javiga Pianchonka. That's going to be a lovely floaty pull from the lefty backhand. Just pinning on that far corner. It's a bit of a frustrated play, but well taken by Victorsson. Eklund puts one off into the space, nice and lofty, not quite in that back foot trailing. Oh, and that's a beautiful lefty flick blade for half. 9-4, Team Sweden leading the charge by five over their Polish opponents. We're going to take a brief pause for half, but we'll be back with more action from this women's pool game in a couple of heartbeats. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultimeek.net Ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Second half, women's group stages. Team Sweden currently leading 9 4 over the women of Poland. Follick applying the mark. Eklund, high zesty flick. And that lefty thrower, the number 19, Vitorsen has been so useful for the Swedish side. Blady over the top. Vitorsen opening up the hammer. Oh, for the break. Just out of bounds, though. Jizonka signals it. Fullick trying to jink in the space. There is that around. They are being given it. Pijonka thinking about something big. Throws into the space for Fullick. Nice read. Yazorskat needs to move out and clear that space a little bit. It's a leading pass. And a good commitment to the around breaks that are being given. Oh, a little bit of hesitation, though, and the smackdown comes from Erlandsson. 
big flick hammer over the top. Aikland brings it in. So 10 4 now, extending that stretch to six. The Swedes, of course, starting on offense in the second half, having gained that break, that 3 0 lead they took early doors. Well, they've now doubled up. We know this Sweden side plays a lot of indoors, whereas the transition perhaps coming a little bit later for the Poles. Just going to have to chuck it and hope. Home long underneath it never takes her eyes off the disc. Such speed for the number 14 of Sweden. Look at her go straight off to the deep space. But this is good conservatism. Oh, talk about a bit of commentator's curse there. A little bit too much loaded onto that throw, but that one could be a bit too far. Also for Team Poland, trying to just go straight to go. Sabek unable to reel that one in. So 227s marking each other. Alonso puts the disc into space nicely. Oh, but a bit of a cheeky one hand grab attempt. Renstrom, one of the younger players on this team. There are two young rising Swedish stars to look out for. Renstrom, not the youngest though. You have to look out for the number 13. That one might be a little bit too far out of bounds. Great effort from Zabek, great grab. Say not the number 13, sorry, the number 24 for Sweden. Lisa Ansmeyer is but 13 years old. So currently off the disc, sat in that reset space. A young Swedish star of the future, just watch her. Benstrom, nice one over the top. Oh, great grab. The double snag by all the home long, making it look super easy. Calm and crisp. It just sort of pinged off her fingertips immediately, and but almost directly straight into her own bread basket. Get another look at that flick over the top. Just a bit of a, almost like a trick shot. So the Swedes extend their lead by one more. 14 11 now. Varnaita putting up a nice floating lofty pull. Good body underneath. Oh, a layout attempt from the youngster. Hansmeyer trying to get aerial. but cannot deny the Polish score. That was nice and slick. Just see the little turn there, the jink to that cone. There was an opportunity to get the block. Missed it by an inch. So 11-5 now. The Swedes very much with a firm grip on this game. But there's a response from the Polish side. They seem to be adjusting more into this indoor format. That's a lovely over the top, though. Beautiful shot. The sisters connect. Sofia to Sarah, Eklund. Wonderful scenes. Love the trust in the Swedish throwers. Really just making fantastic use of the fact that there is no wind indoors. You can throw anywhere you like. Much flatter options 
from the Polish side. Higher resets. The timing a little bit delayed on these cuts. Oh, a beautiful flick though. Straight into the bread basket. A pick's going to be called though to bring that one back. Pijolik with the dispatch in hands. After that lovely flick to hit her up the line. Lefty dish, but foul call. And so this got toppled away. There, Jim. There's definitely a throw into coverage, as they say, right in the middle of several lanes of traffic. And of course, self refereed sport, as ultimate is. Time limits on discussions are perhaps a little bit more relevant indoor when the sh time is significantly shorter. Although 42 minutes is relatively long for an indoor game. And when you're at a European Championship, that's what you'd hope for. And eventually, another call, the tie stall out is going to be accepted by the looks of it. So after several attempts, the Polish team unable to get that goal. Vermeite with the scuba over the top. Homlong with loads of time to read that one. Throws it back to her teammate with a lovely bladey flick. And that will be that after so many attempts for the Poles to get the score. Eventually the Swedish defence is able to convert that one into a break. So 13-5, an eight-point lead for Team Sweden. Just really clinical on their offence, throwing into spaces that only they can attack. Whereas the feisty play of the Polish women. A lovely pull. Well collected that slightly low one, but it's going to be topped away. A bit too casual on that inside backhand. Didn't quite put the reach on it that it needed to hit the other side of her teammate. Oh, and a lovely piece of footwork there. Renata Van Eyte. After the snack down from Holmlong. And so 14-5. The Swedes extend. Three more and this one will be closed. But this Polish side is getting better as the day, day develops. Of course, that second point where they had that just strange throwing execution error didn't really feel much like a block. They are now playing with a bit more determined force. Just a touch out of bounds. Sorry, touch too high. Brick is signalled. A little bit of a discussion there. So you see Elanson going to retract her call. And allow that one to be taken from the brick mark, which will be 14 metres into the pitch. Oh, sorry, if not 14, 8. Put 14 from that back line. Players all flooding through. Oh, fantastic attack from the youngster. Adam Smyer punching the disc out of the air. Lanson. Oh, bit of face marking in the end zone. But not quite good enough. After the block is generated. Zorska and Zorska upfield. Oh, just 
A little bit too much of a squeeze on the near sideline. There isn't that much daylight between the wall, our streaming equipment and the sides of these pitches. Alanson's going to bring us back in. Cheeky scuba over the top, but way too dialed in. Both hands. Brzezinska, Brzezinska with the block. Bajonka looking around for her options. Has to go for the reset. Not too much activation downfield. Matchups doing fantastically well on this person defense. Now, nice strike up line. Brzezinska trying everything she can, and that one just brushes her fingertips as she tries to make the one handed grab. Team Poland's packed between a rock and a hard place against this Swedish defense. Nielsen. Nice high one around, nice and calm. Ooh, that one was a bit spicy on the far side. Pichonka bringing us back in play. Has options available, doesn't like the look of any of them, just going to chuck it into the deep space, but tipping off the back is the defender, Erika Nielsen. Plenty of time to realise that this was coming up and go and get the block. Perhaps a bit of frustration creeping in. So we have 10 minutes and change left. In this 42 minute game format, cheeky scubas. We love to see them throwing into that space. Straight off towards that front cone. Oh, and that is a really beautiful piece of indoor offense. The scuba, the blade, and just the easy toss for the score. Team Sweden now within two of the win here. We expected this one on paper. You've got your second seed versus your seventh seed in this eight-team strong division. First game of the tournament for both sides. We were expecting a Swedish victory if it all went to seed. And they are looking very nice indeed. So can this Polish women's side show us what they can do? Oh, the, the voice came before the throw, but they weren't looking for it. Hornblong underneath. Has the easy toss available to Erland. Renstrom. Van Leiter. Shut down of the options. A little bit of a chat there as the stall out is signalled. Perhaps a fast count being called. As the it does happen quite often as you get towards those latter numbers in the stall. Of course, he is to eight. Oh, and that's a beautiful throw into space. Oh, the home long has got speed for days and it gets ruthlessly abused to the favour of the Swedes who now are going to get their first opportunity at a game point. They'll be coming out on defence, which won't phase them too much. Sitting pretty 11 points in front of their opponents. But there's still plenty of tournament to play. Stranger things can happen. This Polish side have had some real flashes of brilliance, especially on defence. Just getting a bit trigger happy in the latter stages of this game. So it's going to be a big, juicy pull. Going to be bricked as it was just scuffed the edges of that two metre box that theoretically exists like a gazebo over these end zones. Oh, lovely grab. Straight to go, do not collect 200 euro. That is a beautiful response. A slicing backhand and a hold nice and quick for the women of Poland. They're gonna have to find something special on defense now though. 
perhaps one of the power lines they have in their pocket coming out here. As you said, the Polish side like to play two rotations of lines rather than offense and defense. They just play one point each. They've got a 16 or so strong roster, maximum cap of 20 players you can bring, man minimum of 10 in these five-a-side formats. And the lefty coming underneath, Vitossen. Finds an easy pop. Alansen. Oh, it's a beautiful hammer over the top. Fantastically red, but unfortunately it does not make the catch. The left arm goes up. Vendela Vitossen missing. It's a swing and a miss, as they say. It's a lovely pass into space, but just about makes the bid. Can't quite clasp it. A really nice idea from the Polish side. These leading passes do work out quite well for them when they connect it, but the pressure from the Swedes breathing down their nets as we see Vitorsen hit that under space. Eklund. Oh, huge stretch there. Vidosa knowing she doesn't need to make the huge layout grab directly into the foam padding to my left. Has the big reset around if she needs it. Stall count getting high, just chucks it towards the end zone. Bit of huck and D. Polish defense looking. Hot, but the offense a tiny bit hesitant. Can she stop that around break? Yes. Goes to the up line. Oh, Eklund, high grab, and that's going to finish us off. It was the Swedes all day long. 3 nothing. they went up at the beginning of this game, and it was just a relentless trial for the Polish sides to try and come up against Hopefully they will go on to bigger things later stages of this tournament. They adapt to this indoor format, but the Swedes giving us a masterclass in how to open up the soft side of the pitch. Well, that will wrap us for our second game of the day here in Galiava in Lithuania. But keep your eyes glued. It is but 20 minutes away from our next game on this live stream, which if my internet will come back, I can tell you what it will be. But we will uh, see you on the other side after that fantastic matchup between these two sides. We will see you in a few for Latvia versus Denmark.